guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption, this is episode 6, and in our last episode, we managed to get the double barreled shotgun, as you can see, but it only has two bullets, so in this video we might be able to try and get some ammo for it, and we still have lots of ammo in our repeater carbine, and um, yeah, so first, we're going to do a Bonnie McFlan mission, but we have to go to sleep to do it, so um, yeah, let's just go to sleep right now. Okay guys, so we have woke up, and um, we're just going to go do the Bonnie McFlan mission, which I think is over in the barn. Yep, I was right. So let's just go over there right now. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Okay, so we've got to round up the head, and um, in this mission, I think we've got to go over to the um, where the head is. I'm not too sure. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Yep, we're going off track. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm going to save my voice for the herd. It's going to be hard shouting over this storm. Alright, so I think we've got to move the head, and we've got to move it over here. So we need to move the head near to the oak tree, which wouldn't be shouldn't be too difficult. It'll actually be quite easy. So we're just gonna make it there right now and gather all the head up. Oh, one's going away. Let's go get it. There we are. Now I'm just gonna keep it tangled up and follow me. There we are. I think it's almost there. Uh... Oh, it's another one leaving. Let's try not to lose the head. and we're gonna have to go try and get him back. So we've got to move in front of the head to slow him down. Oh yeah, I think we've got to go back to the head now. So there they are. So I think there's one more guy that's lost, so we're going to go get him. Let's 
basically have to return to Bonnie. Okay, so we're just gonna go back over to the head. We just need to find one more. There he is. So, need to try and get him. So, just gonna get the head back over to the ranch. And what we're gonna do that is move in front of them. Try to make them go in that direction. So, we've got 18 of them out of 21. Which is not too bad. Well, we've lost. Well, we've lost quite a lot there. So we need to try and get him back. There we are. Requiring most of the head. So we've got 16 of them which is kind of bad but we can deal with it. So we're making it there right now. Now we've got 15 so we're just going to get this one. So we're making it pretty close to the ranch. It's just over there. I need to try and move it to the left. So we've got 9 out of 21. No, 8. We're getting pretty close right now. Yep, they're all going inside. I think we've got to get some of these heads. There we are. Those are the last two that we need. Oh yeah, they're all going in. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. Farland. Okay, so we've done that mission. Now all we need to do is um, go to the Marshall Johnson mission, so I will see you when we make it over there. Okay, so we have made it over to um, Armadillo, where we can now do the Marshall Johnson mission that we needed to do, so yeah. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Okay, so we're gonna go over to the Ridgewood where we can stop these bandits. So I've got my repeater carbine and my dual barreled shotgun, but that's not gonna last me long. But I, could, but I can at least use the two shots that are in it. 
So when we die, we're gonna loot some of the guys. Cause that would be that would be good. And we'll be able to get some money from doing that. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he says. A more flannel-mouthed Funko artist I've never met. I see him. Parson, you and Eli go check it out. Alright, so we're gonna go investigate the area. This time we don't have to, like, um, follow him. Whoa. There they are. Let's go! Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Okay, so we have now unlocked the Winchester Repeater, which is pretty good, because we can... This is actually one of my favourite repeaters in the game, so... I think... We can loot some of these guys, I'm not too sure. We can just get back on the horse, and then we're just gonna go back to um, Marshall Johnson. This Winchester up here is pretty nice though. Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. So we're getting a little bit closer to a Ridgewood farm. Alright, let's go check it out. Whoa. There's a body on the floor. Man, more dead body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Okay, so we're just gonna keep following him to Ridgewood Farm, but we found another camp which has a lot of dead bodies in it. There's Ridgewood Farm, so we need to go in there and try and find some of the bandits. Let's read Richwood Farm. Sorry, can't get my words right. And um, let's go search the place. I think one of them searching the barn. There's no one in there. Go have to join them at the barn. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Okay, we're gonna shoot it open. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go and find the people who did it. Wow, why am I shooting with my pistol? So you 
because with Dead Eye, it's, you can hit shots from a lot more farther distance using it, which is pretty good. Because um, using normal sight is just uh, pretty bad for shooting long range. Oh, yeah. Headshot. There we are, just looting them all. And uh, we've got a bit, a little bit of money from that. So we can just, um, just keep looting them all. There we are. Now what we're going to do is going to loot them. There we are. Got some revolver ammo there. Loot his cops. I think they have chests around. Oh, there's um, this you can open up. Well, they've blocked the back door entrance using this. Can open this. So I got some money. So I just go go upstairs now and um, get some of these guys. You and me gonna have ourselves fun. That was close. Man, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Just gotta loot some of these guys. Alright, we're getting a lot of money from doing this, which is pretty good. We need the money to buy ammo for this. I've got some horse pills, which I don't really use. I, I don't really use like meds in this game at all, really. To be fair, I only use them. Um, like, when I can actually be bothered. Oh. Wait. I failed to do the mission. I'm gonna end. That was close. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out. That was pretty close, yet yeah, this this was the part where I died. They did unspeakable things. Let's all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Let's can loot the bodies. Yeah, we got like um, forty-one dollars now. All the mates to check my inventory, medicine. Jesus, I said that I wasn't going to use medicine, but now I am. Now we're just going to have to go back to Marshall Johnson. Some folk tried to escape him to the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshall. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're going to get on my horse now. Sir Marshall, what? Williamson's men! 
Rock Mesa. I don't think they'll be good, nah. Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Okay, so we're now fighting um, the gang. See how bad it is to hit from long range. I'm not hitting any of them. Yeah, I should be pretty much stood up. The cover's not actually doing me any good. There we are. So I'm just gonna loot the bodies first. Rest in peace, my friend. Yep, the back. There he is. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Uh, okay, so, um... Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.